Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Empire. Um, I did collect a bunch of things. Uh, I, nothing really crazy happened. Um, I am getting a little bit more sick, so if I start coughing or if all of a sudden the audio from my side just goes dead quiet, it's probably because I'm having a coughing fit and trying not to pass out and die here. I'm exaggerating, but <clears throat> anyways, let's talk to this lady. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Well, look it's a it pleasure is. to see you again. You seem the surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Glad to see you. I feel played. Swansea fancies vampires. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, <clears throat> has been compromised. Okay, patients have given you trouble. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. <clears throat> As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Without eating her? Without eating her, okay. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Oh, wonderful. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Which are? Um, what do you want? What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Okay. Threatening. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient, or their family. Hmm. That's 
solve this If we're yourself. dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Oops. Sorry. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. <clears throat> True. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition treating. with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... <coughs> Wait. <coughs> You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's Ooh, face. Oh, shit. You and your mouth, woman. Jesus. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. Holy shit, man. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a... Sorry. 
Okay. A possible medical error. Debauchery then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, Jesus. if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Jesus, what? You are a very rude nobleman. <coughs> Royal Garden Hall Theater. Clyde Fitch presents Doris Fletcher. Sappho. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Giant morgue dis they have discussed. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Let's see. Any new lines of questioning pop up for you? No. Strange men visiting. What can you nurses. tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Ooh, okay. She could have said the truth. Deserves our help. Hmm. There's a... No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Mm. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. There again. You, yeah, you got a little, uh... A little angry about that one. Ah, hello. Good evening, right. Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. This is a new one. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Mm. Any new... I'm not familiar with all the staff. Brilliant but Most of them. Is there a... It would be inappropriate. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Did you see the text at his best? One of the doctors. Oh, right. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? <clears throat> I understand what you did to agree with. I mean. I think I could understand her doing that. But that's a great risk to take. She could have got fired herself and then they would have lost two great practitioners. I mean, she's not really a practitioner, but, you know, a great nurse who is as good as she is. Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Where did they fall? Mm, she got me with that one. Uh, nothing else there. Have you seen a strange man 
visiting any of the nurses here. I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Really? Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. <coughs> Let's see. Where's... She so far down here. It really pissed me off this time. Who's parked? I have to get to cure you of your fatigue, mate. Dorothy. She's back here. Strange, where is she? Cool. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. How the hell did you get over here? <clears throat> okay, retrieve the thug in the sewers. <coughs> Holy crap. <clears throat> Popular sewers. Guys, you feel the fresh air. Oh, something going on down here. Oh, that's. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. I want to see the sky. Feel the fresh air. <clears throat> oh. I thought the uh oh uh oh that you are going to be a big <laughs> Run, run. 
run, 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 run. Feeling, I'm not gonna like any of this one bit. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, wait, what is this? Common barbed. Is it like a two handed or? Ooh. Yeah, it's too big a weapon. Attack speed's super low. Takes way too much stamina. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Two-handed weapons do a lot of damage, but... No. Uh, let's check out this way first. Might have been. <clears throat> Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. Oh, that guy. I don't want to die here. I want to see the sky. I feel the fresh air. <laughs> Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. <clears throat> oh, there's nothing I can talk to him about. Okay. Uh, you rescued a citizen. He will return to his district the following night. Okay. Cool. What's in here? Bunch of stuff. <clears throat> now, let's go talk to... Whoever that man was. That we were chasing. Oh, I got shotgun shells. rats here. Come here. I know it's disgusting, and it makes me kind of want to puke, but I get the feeling I'm going to need it. Oh yeah, I get the feeling I'm going to really need it. 
sewer beast. What sort of creature is this? Ow. a lot to check, <clears throat> but I should anyway. Holy crap. Oh. 
<coughs> Nurse Crane Voucher, if you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petr uh we're just gonna say Darius. Darius's house and present this cup. <clears throat> no present this coupon. Okay. Huh. Some voucher <coughs> for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Or else I can just proof to or is this here? Generate slowly over time. Cool. Reach White Chapel. <clears throat> really pissed me off this time. Where's the bridge? I'm gonna go to Whitechapel and that might be where I cut it at. There. But first, let's go steal out of this. <clears throat> aluminum powder? Just aluminum powder just randomly out here? There's gotta be a way around all these guys. Right? Okay, um... Before we go out here, we need to do some leveling up. Like, we need to do some other stuff. <clears throat> and do a bit of leveling up here. Is this my, my room? Oh. Okay. Cool. Um. The flower's dying. It needs water. Stuff to trade. Good evening, Milk. Good evening, Doctor. Still. I found your wallet. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Wait for that. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, a lot of shit came up. 
Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see this city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. You're Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time, it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Bound by despair. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I'd like to see your good. <clears throat> Wise choice, Dr. Reed. I rely. Not what I want. That's all I need. No, I don't need that. <clears throat> 296? Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive. be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again. I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. feeling that something creepy gonna happen here. And yes, by the way, I am running because I want to... There's questions I want answered here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Fuck. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Life in London. It has nothing to do with the personal questions you tried to kill Admit yourself. it, Mortimer. <clears throat> Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you then. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... 
after my death. But I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. <clears throat> All right. I have <clears throat> to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. Where's the question? Your son wished to, son die. Wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Okay. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. <clears throat> okay, so, um, <clears throat> actually, what does this say? Concerning the Brotherhood, ooh, concerning the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stool, I would advise our members to be very wary about these so-called scholars. Yes, indeed, most of them are always affable and respectful whenever they approach us, but it would be quite unwise for a discreet circle like the Ascalon Club <clears throat> to foolishly speak about our goals, our members, or our traditions. I also would like to remind our fellow members that the Brotherhood itself is an ancient, itself is ancient enough to have some mysterious traditions, one of them according to some informants, could be the ritual of the so-called Ban of the Dragon. Huh. It seemed that in certain conditions, when the brothers of St. Paul find a violent or bloodthirsty immortal, they could upon him this... they call upon him this ban. What it is exactly, I don't know. Does it really exist? I don't know for sure either, but what it, I've established as facts is that whenever a hostile or vindictive vampire has threatened London, it disappeared without a trace after the Brotherhood pronounced a ban upon him. The loyal Fergal Bansha himself has never been foolish enough to openly provoke the Brotherhood. This is a lesson we must all remember. Never be considered a dra dragon by the Brotherhood. From the law of Escla by Lord Redgrave, founder. What the? F okay. <clears throat> wow. Um. Whoa, <laughs> where's Mr. Tippett's? I want to talk to him. Thomas Elwood? Fear of disgust on every streak. Good evening, sir. <clears throat> Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. Mm. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Damn, damn. <clears throat> How is your stay with us? How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Who is treating you? Who is treating you? 
Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. <clears throat> Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses <clears throat> gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. What's the real cause of your Why injury? do you feel responsible for the <clears throat> injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why the lie? Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Um, surgery can help you. Beauty is not everything. You can't hide forever. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Oh, they failed. Damn. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Trying to avoid going back to the front. That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Mm. <clears throat> Did you serve? Where long? were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Her arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. You let her bite so you. do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. Mentally disturbed. You do right? realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Bye for now, Mr. Elwood. <clears throat> Must be a hint for her. Damn. The pain. It's here again. Good evening, Miss <clears throat> Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Do you know? Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. 
I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. Mm. Ooh, how about this? You're a delusional woman. You know nothing about vampires. Major. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? <clears throat> of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Hmm. Interesting. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <coughs> Huh, shit. Where is... Where is... Wait. You are going to reveal all the secrets. Uh... Beatrice... Baltimore... Where is... Where's Tippet? He's still alive, right? <clears throat> good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Nature of the mistake. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? <coughs> Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Who was this patient? I don't know. 
Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Hmm. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets. By keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to be... <coughs> you didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. do after your resignation do you have a plan i always fancied visiting cyprus such a beautiful island i could buy a house there by the sea read poetry and wait for death mm. <clears throat> goodbye dr tippett I know I'm doing a lot of exploration. Some of this I might cut out for later, but... Oh, it is you, isn't it? It's safer here than anywhere else in the East End. That was fast. <clears throat> I'm afraid the trail of breadcrumbs leads beyond the hospital premises. I must leave for a time. Is that so? Why? Now it's time for you to be patient. It would seem that your blackmailer is part of a more complex machination whose root is in Whitechapel. Machination? Do you suspect another immortal is involved? Mm. It's possible, but I don't think... I hadn't considered that eventuality. Do be careful, my good doctor. When immortals are involved, the stakes tend to escalate quickly. I'll return with case solved or carried on my shield. <laughs>